How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout for episode 21 of Restoration Project Rangers which today sees us take on Mauld in the second leg of the UEFA Champions League Champions third qualifying phase. A uh, bit of a mouthful that. Um, as I promised, um, I'm here for the second leg. So how did we get on in the first leg? That's the main thing. Well, we won 5-2 and um, it was a fairly convincing victory but um, we lost two away goals and... Ironically, this is the same scoreline that we lost to VFB Stuttgart last year in the Europa League semi-final. So, you know, obviously we came pretty close to going through. So we need to make sure we score um, away from home. So Pritchard got a quick fire double to get us off uh, to a good start. Then Awori scored one minute after Pritchard. Um, Bamford then, Boo on a note, scored to take us, uh, and Lazo as well, to take us in at half time at 5 1. And we kind of took the foot off the gas a little bit, but you can see, you know, we weren't in control of the game. There was never really any, any doubt. Um, to lose two goals is a little bit disappointing. Then we played Inverness Cali in the league, where I changed the entire starting 11. Um, and, well, we finished the game with nine men. Uh, the referee was dishing out more cards than at Christmas time. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Boer and Laurent sent off two minutes of, of one another in that second half. Um, had a bit of a scare at the start of the game. Uh, Ryan Hardy then scored a quick fire double. Got us back into it. In fact, his, his second goal he scored was picked for goal of the month. So he's had a cracking start. Two games and he scored four goals. Had two man of the matches. Um so he's certainly putting himself in a position where I'm thinking about playing him tonight. Um, but I just think Patrick Bamford has a little bit more about him. I'm going to have to watch out with guys like Waghorn and Longo um, about playing them. Um, as well, people like Skov. Uh, it's just going to get a little bit tricky this season uh, to keep everybody happy. But this is my favourite 11, I think, that I'm starting with today. So... Um, without any further ado, I think we'll get off into the match and see if we can get ourselves through. Um, the draw, I think, is on Friday um, as to who we would play if we get through in the, in the playoff. So, assuming we do get through, I will push through to Friday and, um, and we'll see how that goes. I'm going to stick to normal today. I don't want any red cards after the last match. Um, Looked stressed, Pritchard. Um, okay, we got him back anyway. Um, yeah, so it's one of those things. I think at times you can just be a bit too assertive in your your kind of approach to the game. And um, a five-two win, I don't need to really go out and you know grab the game by the scruff of the neck. So I think we'll just go with this, and obviously if things. Don't go particularly well for us. Um, I'll pull it back, um, hopefully by uh, telling the players to, to go hard on the challenge. Good challenge from Tavernier there. First 13 seconds, uh, just on the edge of the box. Uh, Kane Ben Dixon. I wonder if that's Thomas Kane Ben Dixon. The, he was at Rangers as a youth player years and years and years ago, I think, when Alex McLeish was manager. Um, don't really care unless he's going to score three goals and we don't score any and we go out then I'll care um, so here we are two minutes in Vela with the shot pretty tame left foot I think that's his weaker of his feet and uh, he's put that wide by quite a sizable margin it certainly seems as though Mould are getting a lot of the ball early on and um, they, they really have to come out um, attacking here much like how we did last year against Stuttgart. Grieve with a chance, Fotheringham saved. I think that was probably going wide anyway. Um, Fothering with a throw out to Philip. Into Vela. Boo on a note. Bamford is through. Can he get that away goal? Round the keeper. Calmly done. Really, honestly, you could not have scripted a better start than that. Four minutes in and... Um, We've chipped away at their away goal advantage. Uh, so another one, and that's it. They would have to score five to go to extra time. And uh, they put ten past Banger City, but I think we're a little bit better than that. Grieve with a shot from outside the box, and that's not going to do us any damage whatsoever. Pritchard now breaking away in the right. 
Plays in looking for Bamford. It's headed clear. Bull and Alt getting by his man. Lazo with the right footed shot. Nope, not good enough from Lazo there. A corner now. Bull and Alt playing it in. Mitrovic is there. 2 0. Less than 10 minutes gone. And uh, yeah, it's looking comfortable. 7 2 in aggregate now. And Mold's away goals advantage has disappeared in the first 10 minutes. So we've got to be happy with that. Um, as far as the team are playing, doing well. Over 70% passes completed and um, looking comfortable. But it can all change. Bonsu now with a shot, fodering him with a save. Pretty much straight at him there, but you know had to have strong hands to push that out. Kane Ben Dixon will take the corner, headed away by Palmer. Awori picks it up, back out to Kane Ben Dixon. And he whips it back in with the left foot. Mitrovic with the header away. Mitrovic on a yellow card in the first half. Not ideal. May need to review that at half time, depending on how things are going. Certainly, losing a man in this game will not do us any favours whatsoever. Uh, Park Jung Bin. Uh, Bonsu. Kane Ben Dixon. 25 yards from goal. And it's just whistled wide of the right hand post there. So, clearly, mauled do have something about them we can't take anything for granted in this game uh, as Palmer gives the ball away rather cheaply there Park Jung Bing plays it forward Awori oh off the bar Fotheringham will be relieved to have seen that hit the bar there it was a little bit uh, calamitous at the back Tavernier now looking for Pritchard Pritchard does get there plays it across the face of goal Vela now 25 yards out straight at Origi uh, Vela scored an absolutely cracker of a goal um, in the in the friendlies. Uh, I think it was against Bolton actually. Um, so he's definitely got that in his locker. Um, as the ball comes out to Philip, and he's going to lose that to Carlson. He's played forward looking for Grieve, and it's two on two here at the moment. Grieve getting by Wilson, plays it out to the left wing. It's played in. Fotheringham has missed it. And luckily it was offside because that was a poor bit of keeping there from Fodderingham. Um, really got lucky with that there. Um, he's going to have to be careful this year, Fodderingham, because I think McCrory could be breathing down his neck a little bit for that number one jersey. Um, albeit Fodderingham actually has the number one jersey. <laughs> you know, um, that is his squad number. Uh, Kane Ben Dixon now with the corner and Grieve with the header on Mitrovic only as far as Awori Park Jung Bin two men on him keeps it Zacherson the Blomquist and Boone and Eck gets it now is Bamford going to be able to get there in between the two centre backs no not quite uh, but we get another chance here in 40 minutes into Bamford, it's blocked. Bull and Annette tries to get it back. It's cleared by Kane Ben Dixon. Not entirely sure why we got highlight there. It didn't really seem like there was a great deal going on. Um, Castrati to Bonsu, Grieve looking for a worry and very nearly caught flat footed there. The defence foddering him very quickly off his line, thankfully. As Bull and Annette, but Bull and Annette, I'm gonna have to just rename him Diego. Um, or if you guys want to suggest a name for him. Uh, maybe Nano, I don't know. Uh, Bull and Ott now forward to Bamford, and that's a wild shot from him. Not going to do any harm whatsoever to the mauled goal. So 2 0 at half time, we have to be pretty pleased with that. Um, a couple of complacent folk in the team. Um, let's try that. I had a funny feeling a couple of guys would take it the wrong way. Um, see if we can iron out those um, no nope. <laughs> not the greatest team talk obviously when you see the red it's, um, it's never a good thing but at least the guys who are complacent seem to be motivated now and gain focus so um, hopefully we can I just told Tavernier I was unhappy with him by accident and he's looking fired up excellent alright so uh, 45 minutes to go now until we can see who will get in the playoff and uh, that's really the kind of key thing now um, in terms of making the, the group stage 
nearly getting a chance early on there. Lazo caught offside. And Origi will take the goal kick. And picked up by Castrati. Uh, Vela now cuts it out. Buon and all looking for Bamford. Not the greatest pass forward. Zacherson will go back to the goalkeeper. And he'll take his time. One of the things I want to do maybe is actually close down the goalkeeper um, a little bit to stop giving them so much time on the ball. Uh, Park Jung Bin now up against Tavernier inside to Grieve. Back to Park Jung Bin. It gets to the byline, cuts it across. Surely that's a goal when it is. Mould have pulled one back right at the start of the first half. Not a good time to concede at all. And um, just a reminder there that they are a, a side that can that can do harm for us. So they scored two goals in the first leg. They've scored ten against Banger. Carlson now gets in behind the fullback. Fotheringham palms it away, and it will break out to their left back Woodgren who tries to work something, a back heel to Park Jung Bin, a bit of showboating from Mauld, and they've scored again. And this is really not a good start to the second half. Um, maybe regretting that overload now. Um, maybe not. I, I do think we could score more goals. I think we, we could win this game again 5-2, to be honest. Uh, Lazo trying to get the ball in. He's lost out. Just seems to be a little bit um, sloppy in the in the final third at the moment. Philip did not need to make that header. He could have chested that. Um, Pritchard will cut it out. He's not played particularly well today, but let's see what we can do now. Bull on a note, wide to Lazo. Great ball in towards Bamford, and it's headed clear. Bull on a note, picks up again. Palmer, Bamford, Devella, back to Bamford. Can he finish straight at the keeper? And... Right, let's see how we're doing. Uh, Pritchard is having a bit of a mare, as is Lazo. The wide player's not playing particularly well. Um, eh, let's see what we could do. We could play... Let's go with Casey Palmer wide, and we'll bring on Jordan Thompson and swap him over with Vela. And for Lazo, we'll bring on Tajira and I think I will also give Longo a go again maybe risky making three subs but um, I think I, I, you know, I really like to win this from being 2-0 up to go 2 all right at the start of the second half is a little bit annoying uh, Mould have kind of ruffled me up a little bit so I would like to, to try and uh, win the game but we're now 3-2 down and that's three goals in ten minutes in this second half. Certainly rallying now. And the worst thing for me to do now would be to sit back because they can probably smell blood. So we need to try and, and go forward and get goals. But certainly playing overload in Europe is going to be a bit of a risk. Um, and against bigger teams we'll get punished. And uh, Malt certainly seem to be on the ascendancy now. Awuri's away once again into the box. Fotheringham made the save and it's a corner Thompson will head it clear Palmer very very flat footed there would have expected him to be racing out after that um, I think the players maybe thought the job was done at half time at 2-0 I did tell them to warn against complacency and we've lost 3 goals since then um, so great team talk has really gone down well not liking this long ball from Boon or not there he could have easily ran with it um, and Tajira's now lost out. This is going to be another chance for Mould here again, isn't it? No, nope. Thompson heads it forward. Bull and Ott takes it down. Longo, Palmer with the effort, wide of the post. We really have had quite a lot of efforts at goal that just haven't been good enough. Uh, and we're not putting enough pressure on these guys here. Just watching them stand off, um, it's quite irritating to say the least. Uh, Tajira now forward, Buon and Ott, Longo breaking down the left. What can we do from here? Buon and Ott through for Thompson on the left foot. Keeper has made the save. The keeper is keeping mauled in this. Um, pretty even stats, to be honest, looking at it. Um, another chance here for mauled. Tavernier pokes it away, Carlson back into the box. Park Jung Bin with the effort and offside against the Woody. So 25 minutes to go. 
and 3-2 down on the day 7-5 nope yeah 7-5 in aggregate isn't it yeah <sighs> wow that's some effort from Grieve there um, if that had gone into the top right hand corner that would have been a great goal uh, <laughs> on one hand and on the other hand just really frustrating because um, Mould only need two goals to take this to extra time now and I'm just not really liking the slackness in our play uh, Mitrovic will pick this up back to Fotheringham really we need to try and get a goal let's talk to the boys and, and see if we can get them to push forward a little bit more here Longo will chase it through to the keeper but the keeper will pick it up and he drops it down <laughs> at least Longo chased him down there that's not too bad Awuri picks up the ball uh, I'm not going to say his name <laughs> Fodderingham makes the save and um, yeah I mean honestly if they, if they start taking their chances we need to be a little bit worried here Bull or not now forward to Longo got men forward here can we capitalise on it Vela to Palmer Palmer with the effort and the keeper saved it again the keeper's having a blinder of a game at the moment Bullen up with a corner headed clear chased down by Longo here cuts it back to Vela forward again looking for Bullen and he won't keep that in and with 20 minutes to go it's still 3-2 to Mould and they've got another chance give up Mould <laughs> Grieve now into a worry dangerous here and I think that's hit has that hit the post and Fotheringham saved it I think it might have done uh, really the guys need to pull their finger out because this is looking a bit dodgy to say the least Palmer inside to Boone and all Longo was probably offside there but he doesn't get the ball anyway Zacherson to Carlson back to Bloomquist forward to Park Jung Bin and yeah they're, they're quite neat moving forward mould but they've lost the ball here Longo picks it up Thompson is through surely straight at the goalkeeper once again Tajira side netting so wasteful in front of goal with the chances we've had four clear cut chances we really should have scored more than the two that we've had Philip with a throw looking for Vela and that's slack Park Jung Bin will play it forward Awuri loses out to Mitric Tavernier just gives it away again really slack from us Wilson will play it down the left wing Tajira is away he's got two men on him cuts inside beats his man lays it off for Boon and not and again the goalkeeper has made another save can we get that third goal that would kill it for sure um, Wilson puts it wide third goal would definitely kill it um, because it can't go to extra time but 88 minutes 89 minutes now What's going on here? Longo. <laughs> Vela. Wide to Palmer. He gets there. Can he play it in? Vela. To Thompson. Tajira is there. And he puts it in. And that's it, boys. It's over. 3 all. We're through now. 8 5 an aggregate. A bit ridiculous to say the least. Um, one last chance, maybe, for Mould here. Nope, that's it so at least we didn't lose the game um, don't really want to say a good win um, we should have we should have hammered them really um, but anyway you know we're through and that that's what that's what counts really in the, the kind of knockout stages so um, yes gold is cream of the crop I've, I've been tracking them I don't think I'll be able to sign them at any point but I've just been keeping an eye on them um, so let's see on Friday's draw uh, who we are going to be playing. Um, who's this chap? I don't even know my own youth players. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind you going. Right, come on, come on, come on. I want to see who we've got. Um, <clears throat> Confirm I'm on air, Dunlone. I would rather he actually went away proper so 
no thanks. Right, here we go. So, who can we potentially draw? Olympiakos, FC Stoya, Sparta Prague, Red Bull Salzburg, who actually played in our friendlies and lost 4-3 to, and Ludogrets, um, who we played, I think, last year in our friendlies. So, let's see who we get. And it's going to be Salzburg. So, we've played them already. Uh, got a fair idea of what to expect. And I think that's it, isn't it? Um, once that's played, um, best placed, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be it then, that we should be through to the Champions League proper if we can win it, so yeah, here's hoping. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this episode for that epic 3 all draw and 8-5 aggregate win over Mauld. If you have, please leave a like and a comment, really helps me out, really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me uh, so far and uh, all the subscribers it's really positive stuff if you're new to the channel of course please hit that subscribe button and come back for some more and until the next round of the champions league qualification against red bull salzburg i'll see you when i see you